forecasters nationwide are saying Hurricane Sandy could bring perfect storm conditions even more so than the storm that inspired the movie. But ABC's Dan Harris is here now to talk about those who don't believe the hype. Dan? Lara, good morning to you. We all know the feeling. You see the ominous forecasts. You see the reporters standing out in the bad weather. And it can all feel very theoretical, not to mention inconvenient. There's that little voice of denial that says it won't be that bad. Sandy may pose the greatest risk to human life. You can see how the wind just continues to whip. This is shaping up to be quite the monster. The forecasters could hardly be using stronger language. It conjures images of movies like The Perfect Storm. And the day after tomorrow, where a giant wave hits New York City. But in real life, New York, we found a lot of people who say they don't believe the hype. What are you going to panic? We're New Yorkers. Part of the problem, the last big storm to come through here, Tropical Storm Irene, did a lot of damage to outlying areas, but was pretty much a big nothing burger for New York City. Well, I think last year was like, oh, darn. And then this year, I think we're, we're used to it. And that's why the orangs, who live in an evacuation zone, are blowing off the warning. We're not really worried about the flood. The governor of New York is very worried about this psychology. Uh, but, but this is not the time to take a chance. But whatever it is, it is going to be very serious. And again, it is nothing to be trifled with. It is helpful to remember forecasters are often right. The movie The Perfect Storm, that was based on a real storm that took real lives. And remember Katrina? Thousands of people wouldn't or couldn't heed the warnings and had to be rescued. So how do we handle any creeping cynicism or complacency in the face of warnings about Sandy? Perhaps we take our cues from the movies. This storm is going to get worse. We stay inside, we keep warm, and, and we wait it out. You know, the mayor of New York City had a very powerful comment about this. He said, if you live in an evacuation area and you refuse to leave, you are not only risking your own life, but also the lives of first responders who may have to come rescue you.